Welcome to Olympian Cares, giving you the best in water testing and analysis. Today we're looking at the Department of Environmental Conservation, New York State, and we're analyzing PFAs. So what are PFAs? They're a group of chemicals used to make polyfluoromer coatings and products that resist heat, oil, stains, grease, and water. And polyfluoromer coatings and blends of resin and lubricants are used in products such as water repellent clothing, furniture, adhesives, paint varnish, food packaging, heat resistant, non-sticking cooking surfaces, and the insulation of electrical wires. And chemicals in this group include polyfluorocane acid, or PFOA, and sulfonic acid, PFOS. Although the use of this acid is being phased out, the chemical is still used to make household and commercial products that resist heat and repel stains. And it's used in the firefighting foam and is a newly listed hazardous substance. You can take a look at this fact sheet to understand more. Now the big thing is why are they a concern and why is it something you need to look at? Some PFAs do not break down easily. As we know, when they get in water, they're called forever chemicals, and that is why. They persist for a long time in an environment, especially in water. And their toxicity and persistence in environment means that they're a potential danger to public health and the environment. And additional information on health impacts can be found in their Department of Health letter, in a regulatory impact statement, and a fact sheet as well. Now there's a national contamination issue in New York. In early 2016, New York, joined by Vermont, New Hampshire, urged the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency to acknowledge that PFOA contamination is a national problem that requires consistent federal guidelines. On May 19, 2016, the EPA issued a lifetime health advisory of 70 parts per billion parts per trillion for a long-term exposure of PFOA and PFOS in drinking water. So whether you're in a big city, Manhattan, the Bronx, Queens, or whether you're in a rural area, this is still a huge issue. This is something that even multiple states are working together to fight against. And how is New York State doing that? Response to the PFA's contamination, the Water Quality Rapid Response Team, or WQRT. In February 2016, New York State created the Water Rapid Response Team led by the DEC and the Department of Health, to quickly investigate the water contamination reports across New York and take corrective action to address these contamination issues. The team is seen as a national model to research, identify, and quickly address water contamination in communities. And the WQRT has been working to identify and address drinking water issues across the state including the sampling of public water and private wells around facilities suspected or known to have used PFAs. And to enhance these efforts, in 2017, former Governor Cuomo signed an unprecedented $2.5 billion Clean Water Infrastructure Act of 2017. The act helps to support the communities to upgrade aging drinking water and wastewater infrastructure and to protect the water sources by conserving open space and addressing contaminants prioritizing regional collaboration at the watershed scale and creating thousands of jobs in the process. And while this is all good, and while this is all helpful against PFAs, it's still something that you need to periodically test for. And again, that's whether you're in a big city like Manhattan or Queens or the Bronx, and if you're out in the country or a rural area. And in addition, the Clean Water Infrastructure Act of 2017 has directed the DEC in consultation with the Department of Health to build a database, valuatize and prioritize over 1,750 inactive solid waste sites statewide to determine any potential impacts from PFAs or their contaminants on drinking water sources and results from any of these sites and to provide recommendations of remediation and mitigation measures for these sites impacting drinking water sources. So with all that being said, it is interesting to see how the Water Quality Rapid Response Team is working to mitigate this problem. While that's being done, though, it's always a good idea to periodically test and analyze your water.